Wow, a carnage kiss happened and KO'd Mario in one hit in the last part. Oh, or I should say off camera. So that is not pretty. <laughs> What's this gonna be? Ow! <laughs> And come back, Mario. Come back to me. We have much loving to do later. <laughs> yes, I win, Peach. All right, we're back in the game. Uh, actually, Gino's uh, kind of low on health, but whatever. But wow, I couldn't believe the power of that Carnicus. I think it did something like 190 damage to Mario. If it was something, something like that, and it, it was just oh my god. What's this gonna be? Oh, oh my god, 38 damage to Peach? This is, oh my god, this is scary. Peach does not take that much damage normally thanks to the lazy shell. Oh boy, that is a uh, scary thought there because it can actually do damage to Peach. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Ow. Third <laughs> That's so hard to guard because it, it's just, I don't know how to time that thing. Anyway, as I was saying in the last part, I don't remember this phase of the boss very well. I just remember the first part and how they combine. So we'll just see how it goes. So no, here it comes. Ah, 98 this time. I guarded it properly. <sighs> Breathe a sigh of relief, guys. <laughs> because Mario stays in the game. If you don't guard that, you're pretty much dead. Unless you have a lazy shell armor. <laughs> You know that lazy shell is awesome. Oh, whoa, what the heck was that? There was a little knife. Ow, man, that's gonna kill. <laughs> oh, this is not fun. <laughs> I just have to keep recovering people. Maybe I should, I don't know who I should be attacking first, really. The snake or the guy? It looks like the guy is powering the snake by the looks of it. So I, that's why I'm attacking the guy first. But uh, who knows, honestly. Uh, I'm sure uh, someone knows, but for some reason I'm drawing a blank. I, like I said, I've been through this game a lot of times, but I don't remember this for some reason. Ow, oh, some reason. Ah, no! <laughs> 121. Why didn't I heal Gino? That was stupid of me. I'll, have to, I'll do it on the next turn. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, I'll heal Gino on the next turn. I, I thought about using a Max Mushroom on Gino's turn, but I nah. That's just gonna be... Oh, oh my god, 147. Good lord. <laughs> that is some powerful attacks by that snake there. But it looks like it can only attack one character at a time, which is its weakness. It's got some power, but it, you know, it doesn't have enough spread to really put the pressure on me. And that's the main reason why I took out the magic user and the other guy. You know, in the first part of the battle. Uh, how the heck does he swing? How does he hit? How does he hit me with his sword from that far away? Ah! <laughs> come back, Gino. Come back to me. I will do you later. Okay. No, oh, I said, keep it down. Talk about that stuff off camera, Peach and Gino. <laughs> anyway. Um. Should I? Nah, I'll just keep attacking like I... Yeah. Oh, I think I disabled Cloaker. Yes, I did. Okay, so I guess the Earthlink is the only thing left? I guess he's powered by himself, and I don't know. Ericus? Ow. <laughs> it's still dang powerful, I gotta admit. But as I said, it can pretty much only attack one character at a time, so it's nothing to fear, really. Especially if you time the attacks right. So I guess we're gonna see how long it takes to beat this very giant snake that I'm not doing very much damage to. Yay! And yeah. You'd think that the snake would just be able to devour us in one hit, but it, nah, it decides not to. It decides just to play around with us. You know, have a lot of fun in the battle. It, you, snakes are natural battlers. They love to battle people and dolls and princesses. You know how that goes. You've seen that before on nature shows and ow, oh, stuff like that. This is just first-hand uh, raw footage of how snakes really react in the wild when they're not controlled by a guy. <laughs> And it's actually more of like a cobra, but that's still a snake, you know how that is. You know, snakes are long, scaly critters. Not to be confused with lizards, but yeah. 
but yeah, I highly recommend that if you see a snake out in the wild, you just go for it, you know, either run for it or take it down like this, like use your frying pan on it or something like that, or even use a giant turtle shell around it, like if you got a flying turtle running, roaming around in your backyard, just take it and fling it at the snake, it's gonna do some damage, or if you have like a mystical gun, wow, it did a lot of damage, good lord, if you have like a mystical gun, go ahead and go for the snake, you know, it's, it, it might scare it away, but I'm not so sure about that. I mean, look, this snake is pretty persistent that I'm battling right here, and oh god, it's poison. Oh, oh god, I failed to guard it. <laughs> but, so yeah, that's pretty much the history of snakes uh, from PKGAM Discovery Channel. <laughs> Yeah, whenever battles go on long like this, I just decide to make up some random stories. Because that's just what I do, you know. I can't keep you guys hanging watching the same thing happening over and over again. Because you guys pretty much see what's going on here. And, oh, that's going to hurt. Or not, and do the goose egg amount of damage. Just like, okay, and do a one hit, uh, I mean, one damage attack with your sexist weapons. And then with your guns, you're going to do a lot more damage. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Um, I don't think I need to heal, honestly, because if I misguard or mistime my guard, it's going to KO someone in one hit anyway, except, except for Peach. It doesn't really matter if I guard those or not. I mean, you know those snakes, they're powerful. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that was pretty scary, but I guarded it properly, and I survived it. Woo! Heal me up. Thank you very much. And gonna attack the snake once again. And uh, yeah, this is taking a good while. And ow! Oh! Um, wait, I'm gonna do a group hug right now, cause yeah. I mean, if I guard properly, I can uh, survive the carnicuses and regular attacks and stuff like that. So if, you know, as, as long as I'm at full health, it'll be fine. Uh, oh, 19. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, when you when you get enemies that start to do more than one damage to uh, whoa 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 I am dizzy. <laughs> when you start to do when you have enemies that start to do more than one damage to Peach, that is a scary thing. And I'm gonna go back up to save my game before I delve any further because we are going to be going into an entirely new area that uh, is going to be very scary. <laughs> Actually, it's not that any scarier than this, I should, so that's kind of like a lie, but yeah, we're going to go through this door and we're going to find ourselves in the factory! Production is on schedule. This, despite the fact that Mac, Boyer, Yardovich, and the Axum Rangers were defeated. By who? I don't know. <laughs> At this rate, Smithy will have a new army in no time. Yes, they're actually creating the enemies in this factory. A new making more weapons? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Oh yeah? Who are you? This is THE Mario! Give up now, we still have a chance. Shut down production now or he'll stop ya! What did you say, you little puffball? Mad Mallet, trash him! Woo! It's time for a battle! I'll see you guys in the next part.